initiating satellite surveillance co-op in three, two, one. We have satellite surveillance. Who's in the truck? Yes. Stop the bad guys. That's all we know. He seems nervous. I can hear you, Billy. <laughs> Thirty-five seconds to intercept. Ready? Hydraulic systems operating within tolerable limits. Fuel cells at 92%. Shields and defensive weapon systems. There's times for long answers and times for a short one. Yes or no question, kid. The short answer is, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Attack mode. Initiating transformation. Transformation complete. Ten seconds to intercept. Awesome move. Whose side are you on, Mike? Just admiring the ballet. Your EMP's ready. Up. You're gonna want to see this. On my way. On my way. Come on, girly. Electromagnetic pulse fully. Hold your fire, I'm taking over. Can switch to manual. Mike's driving now. I'm not deaf, Not your morning, is it? Mike, your EMP will fry the big rig's electronics. Ah. We'll stop in under 10 seconds. FBI's 10 miles out. Just zap them and wait for backup. EMP will jackknife him. Gotta get his speed under 80. Kit, calculations. Michael is right, Dr. Raymond. At this speed, the truck will jackknife. Damn it, Mike! Nope, can't look. Mm -mm. You're missing the whole thing, sweet mm -hmm. cheeks. Michael, I'm picking up some unusual readings from inside the truck, and the bikers are prepared to disembark. Boy, the EMP. FBI, 60 seconds away. Hit infrared. Michael, something strange is happening inside that truck. Do not approach the truck. Wait for backup. Sorry, Carrie, I can't hear you. The EMP must have jammed my earwig. Mike? Can you hear me? Do you copy? Michael, he's getting away. 
Michael. That's a 79 shovel head. It's got no electronics, so the EMP has no effect. Michael. Contamination complete. Michael, I want to apologize. I should have identified the 79 shovelhead sooner. Of course, it would be immune to my EMP. It'd be easy to miss. It's just that Sarah and I used to ride old Harleys back in the day. Back in the day? I really like the sound of that. No, not back in the day. Back in the day. I will take note of the placement of the emphasis in this colloquialism. Look, kid, you and I are a team. Sometimes I'm gonna see something you might miss and vice versa. Today I spotted the Harley. No big deal. I got your back, you got mine. Then you're going to omit my error from your report? It's, uh... It's what partners do. They watch out for each other. If I may attempt a colloquialism of my own... Thanks, Brosif. That's the last time you pull a stunt like that, you understand? We had a deal. You run all of this, I'm in charge of the car. Sarah, make sure Kit's okay. Running a complete diagnostic now. So who was I chasing? Motorcycle ninjas? And what the hell happened in that truck? The voltage on the EMP was set too high, that's all. Then we just killed three men. Why not just tell them the truth? I'm busy, Charles. Look, I don't like you blaming Kit for this. This was not the EMP. This is the Arrow virus. Arrow has been out of the lab since the army bought him out. Alex, listen to me. Now, a nanovirus infects technology just like an organic virus infects people. Anything that has a chip in it, a, a processor of any kind at all. Like televisions or cell phones or computers. Right, and almost everything electronic has some sort of microprocessor in it. And the virus hones in on that processor and feeds on it. So instead of spreading through the air via a cough or a sneeze, it spreads through metal. And if there's no metal, it stops. Right, and it appears to burn itself out if it doesn't have anything metallic to conduct it. But the truck... Now, the truck was surrounded by asphalt and other organic material, so the virus stopped there. But what about the Harley? It could be a carrier. But what if it's not even infected? Look, that bike could destroy everything electronic within a 500-mile radius in a matter of hours. And if it uploads itself...